machines. What is there, seven of them right there? That's pretty amazing. And they're all different kinds of companies too. I think every company might be represented. There's Sapporo in the corner there. There's Keating Beverages right there. Uh, kind of a free agency, maybe that's Itoen. Asahi Beverages right straight in front of us. Another Suntory and then two Coca-Colas. You don't see variety like this in the city except at like rest areas on the highway. And then there's me battling the, the elements out there. How you doing everybody? This is another live stream from a wet Tokyo. Hold on a second. It is a really wet Tokyo. I, I don't know if, if Tsuyu, which is the rainy season has started, but I, I would suspect that it has and would make it pretty early. Um, I think the cherry blossoms were about two weeks earlier this, this year than in previous years, making it one of the earliest in, in, in decades, um, or at least a, at least a decade. And the, the rainy season is no exception. It is pretty early this year. Usually we don't have it until June 10th, but it's been raining quite a bit. And I actually don't mind the rainy season. And we're gonna get to these vending machines here because I'm thirsty. Oh gosh, the wind is picked up. I, this is every company, I think. There's a polka on the other side too, just around the corner. Yeah, it's, it, it's the rainy season. It can be a, a lot of people don't like to, to travel this time, but I'll tell you this. It is a lot cooler today than it is in the summer. So you get, you, there's a guy with a raincoat right now. That's full raincoat. He's in weather gear. I came with a bicycle. In the rainy season, it is much cooler. And that's actually a good thing because I know, yeah, my bike, my bike's over there. Um, Leo Kanai and I had a, um, a doctor's appointment at the hospital. They're taking a taxi back. I'm, I'm walking back because I enjoy the elements. I live in the elements. So the rainy season is, is a good, is, I don't know if it's a bad time to travel. If you're a photographer, you're gonna want the rainy season because I think the, the wet weather and the clouds actually bring your photos out in a completely different way than all those other, other ways to take it. It's just that at this time of year, there's very little sun. I mean, you get some breaks and patches in, in, in the clouds, but not that often. How you doing everybody? I am streaming in the rain. What a glorious day. <laughs> <laughs> not singing in the rain and I just saw Clockwork Orange last night it was playing in the background as I was editing which makes this uh, pretty diffuse lighting is awesome Lee it's don't underestimate the power of diffuse lighting all right we're we're going to go take a look at some of these vending machines here we're gonna start off with the good old favorite uh, coca-cola and see what's going on today I get a feeling oh it, it's self-lit it, it lit up right when I got close to it so it seems to have some sensor in it um, this one's unique because it has Dr. Pepper I find that you don't you don't see Dr. Pepper too much outside of Tokyo. The wind is gusting right now. Oh, look at these little pet bottles of Coca-Cola. I think that's like 200 milliliters. Now, the reason why let's get the sensor back. The reason why um, the reason why Coca-Cola is this small is because people don't like the bigger cans. It's too sweet. They just want a little bit of sweetness, and they, it goes wasted. So Japanese don't like to waste it. So in an effort not to, to waste it, they buy smaller things because they know they're just gonna throw it away. So it's the same price, just smaller. And then there's Aquarius, the Gatorade equivalent um, for Coca-Cola company here in Japan. What we got here? All right, th this is the, um, oh, the green tea by Coca-Cola right now. It, it changes every year or so. This was like Mugi tea, Mugi cha. That label has changed for summer of 2021, as well as peach flavored water um, from Coca-Cola's water division. I guess, and then there's some smaller cans. You can notice here on the vending machine that they've turned off the, the hot feature of the vending machine. Uh, again, they only do that in the winter. Um, or in the fall and the spring, you'll see it. But because it's, once June 1st hits, they usually turn it off. The sensor turns the light on. That's pretty cool. You have Olympic, uh, Coca-Cola being a major sponsor for the Olympics. You have Olympic um, advertising on the side of the, of the vending machine. That's the torch that's going around right now. Next to it, this drink vending machine looks like you get the normal cans of it. A normal uh, 500 milliliter pet bottles. A little bit of advertising there. Uh, you have this thing called craft coffee. People have been drinking coffee more, bigger pet bottle looking things of coffee. 
that did not exist until about two years ago when, when Japanese are drinking more and more coffee than tea. Tea's still pretty big. And then there's deep black, <laughs> which is, I don't know if black can get any blacker, but this is the OLED of, of like the plasma OLEDs of coffee. So you're gonna get some deep blacks. We could test that out if you want. So that's our offering from Coca-Cola. They turned the hot off, so they're all cold coffees, which is refreshing in the winter or in the summer. Uh, this is the Suntory one, and you can see the collaborations and partnerships with, with foreign drinks that each company has. Um, this one has some sort of UFO catcher app that you can work on your phone, which is kind of neat. You can, I guess you buy a drink and you get a shot at winning something. The Nachan, these drinks here are pretty good. Kids like it. It's like apple juice, but it's not. It's better, <laughs> maybe. That's 110 yen. The prices are down, so if, if you're cost conscious, save 10 yen by going to this one. Mountain Dew, which is Pepsi, I believe. There's no Pepsi in this vending machine, but there's Mountain Dew. That's pretty interesting, right? The reason why is Santori is owns or is uh, collaborated with with Pepsi brand here. So the Santori machines is where you'll find Pepsi. Pepsi is not popular at all in Japan, except when they put weird flavors like cucumber and Christmas spices and things like that in there. There's been some bizarre Pepsi uh, flavors. Salty watermelon was one of my favorite. But they do have, Suntory has the most, most popular um, bottled waters. That right there. I know, cucumber Pepsi was a thing. <laughs> that was like seven years ago. Here's the Asahi beverages and they have the Mitsui, the uh, uh, Mitsuya Cider since 1984. That's a very popular drink. Um, they had one that was frozen, that would come out of the vending machines frozen, which is kind of neat. They had some sort of uh, uh, gadget that did that in, in select vending machines. The Wanda coffees were famous because, you know who was doing the Wanda commercials? Tiger Woods, for years, there'd be commercials. Wanda, 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 Wanda coffee, and then it would be Tiger Woods drinking it. I guess that was, it wasn't Nike, but the secret of success could have been Wanda coffee. They also have Welch grape juice in the Asahi beverage, in the Asahi vending machines. And they, of course, they have their own brand of water and they have cow piss, which is not cow piss, it's cow piss, which it's hard to tell the difference. That might be on my list of things to drink. They also have a little, uh, uh, some Genki drinks, gives you a little bit of vitamins, power up, vitamin D, call it. And uh, yeah, there's iced coffee. The Welch is the Concord grape is not very popular here. So I'm going through all of these because every single company seems to be represented. This is, um, I guess this is the Itoen um, vending machine. Itoen is the big green tea maker. It's huge worldwide. Um, and they're right there. They're my two favorite. Oicha, Oi Ocha is my favorite green tea. So if I'm getting green tea, I always look for the Oi Ocha Itoen because it's, I know it's a Japanese company and it's, uh, they make good green tea for a very long time. They don't change the recipe, they just got it right. Mugi cha, this is my favorite Mugi cha too, barley tea. It's got a lot of minerals, good for the summer. Yeah, jasmine tea is represented right here. Itoen's making jasmine tea behind the, there. And the, uh, looks like they have a matcha drink next to, and this looks like it's Tully inspired, which is the competitor to Starbucks here. Tully's used to, used to be an American Northwest coffee chain, I believe, like in Washington state, but they went out of, on the west coast but they went out of business in the u.s but they're still pretty big here in japan it's like yahoo japan is pretty big but they're kind of like fried chicken and in the u.s they're gone nobody uses yahoo services do, do they anybody don't know some sparkling um sparkling juice is that grapefruit or yuzu it's hard to see yeah and what is this here this is milk tea so they have their own kind of milk tea. Coca-Cola's is, is quite popular. Um, the Royal Milk Tea. This is Keaton drinks, and they probably are the least well-known of them, but they do have one collaborative partner that everybody knows about, and that's Red Bull right here. So Keaton is working with Red Bull, and I, I like to check on these vending machines too because I know these partnerships can change as international companies um, find different partners to strategize their Oh, look at that Tropicana. Keaton has Tropicana drinks too. So Tropicana um, orange juice and fruit juices are from here. Minute Maid is with Coca-Cola, of course. Mets with no relation to the baseball team, but I thought that that was 
weird. We're gonna try these in a second. I'm just going through all of them. And there's some sort of espresso tea. What? Can you, is that mixed with coffee? It says break with espresso tea. What does that mean? I'm gonna have to try that just out of curiosity. All right, we're looking at the lineup here. They do also have melon soda there. How you doing, Darth Man 25? Espresso tea, Dragon Dark Fire. I'm gonna have to try that, I think. That's on my radar now. Uh, this is the melon soda with ice cream. And we've, I've already tried this on vending machines. This is awful. I, you have to go like this. But I guess they put a cherry in the drink. I don't know. It's been a while. But that's only 110 yen. Prices are down. There's Mount Fuji water, which looks pretty good. Sports drink by Sapporo. They just call it sports water. <laughs> That's original. Polka coffee, which is uh, the S Sapporo soft drinks. Uh, Sapporo is the um, same same makers as Polka Sapporo. I guess they're they're now together. Um, they're the maker of the beer, Sapporo beer. They're a beverage company. They make coffee and a lot of other stuff. The first coffee, though, in a can was UCC in the 1970 Expo at Osaka, and I think that might be at this this machine here. Okay, let's let's wait and. We'll go by. All right, let's go around the corner here. And then this polka coffee does not have, oh, this has Tokyo green tea, but I don't see an Okinawa um, Shikusawa. So that's a Okinawan drink. Maybe I'm gonna have to try that. That looks interesting. And then there's iced coffee. No coffee jelly, that would have been cool. Coffee jelly is a thing here. All right, that's the lineup. There are a couple of machines uh, across the street too. <laughs> There's machines all over this place. All right, so let's get into it. It's John versus the machines versus the elements because I'm, I'm holding my umbrella here. It's, uh, it's hard to, to do this with one hand. All right, the, w w anything, there's nothing really interesting in the Coca-Cola machines. All right, no Sprite. There's no no Fanta either. That's weird. Oh, there's one Fanta. This premium uh, orange here, which I've already tried before. So I don't think that there's anything really interest of Coca-Cola machine. What do you guys think? This is a live chat. You can absolutely um, let me know here. Michael Sasano's in the house. Hi, John. Love all the vending machines in Japan. All of them? Thank you for taking us on this fun live stream, my treat. And whatever you decide to try, you got it. Michael Sasano is sponsoring this first drink. Thank you, Michael. All right, I'm gonna have to go with, although Golden Time looks pretty good. This is the Tommy Lee Jones and, um, uh, uh, company that he advertises, the Boss Coffee. Golden Time sounds pretty good. I gotta get watch some Golden Girls when I get the Golden Time. Where's the one here that I wanted to try first off? The, um, oh, tea espresso. Boom. Let's do it. Whoa, you can use your uh, T card, the Tsutaya card, and get points. That is interesting. And there's no um, Suica wipe on this one, so it's an older machine, I guess. All right, Michael, you have, you have sponsored my friend an espresso tea. <laughs> I hope this is what you wanted. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Oh, it's so cold. I forgot they turn off the heat. So you have espresso tea. Uh, milk is in here. It's interesting. Smart break with espresso tea. It's classic, 35th anniversary. I'm looking for any coffee. There's no coffee. There's no coffee in it, so I don't understand. How, how, how is this espresso if there's no coffee in it? All right, let's have a seat over here. This is, this really is not easy. I, you know what, my, my butt's gonna get wet no matter what. Do I have to shake it? Whoa, that is a robust tea taste. 
The Lonely Canadians is here. John, do you know why there is no Diet Coke in Japan? All right, I'll give you some feedback on that. Okay, hold on. Nashifra, thank you for being a friend. Uh, travel down a road and back again. Your heart is true. You're a pal. You're a confidant. I know that song. That's a song, right? Friend and a confidant. All right, come by for this Tespresso. Let's get right to it. Uh, Golden Girls. I don't know if I like it or don't like it. It's slightly sweet. I don't know if I'm okay. I've never had anything like that before. It's it's like super bitter tea and there's like a, it, it almost tastes like I'm eating a flower. Cause you know like there's bitterness when you eat a flower. Cause I've, you know, we all do it when we're kids and we don't forget it. Mm. Very, very interesting taste. I can see how they would call this espresso. I don't, I think like scientists in the beverage company must come up with this name. They really definitely, they really definitely need to, to get an advertise. I guess maybe they did. Espresso tea is just really bitter, not sweet. It, it's like a smack in the face, all right? It's a smack in the face. But it's not a bad smack. You know, sometimes you you want to be smacked, right? Is anybody out there? You like? Yeah, I need a smack. You know, just do it. Sometimes people like getting smacked. That's for these people. They're gonna love this. It's like getting smacked in the face, but a good smack. It's not a hard smack. It's just a. It's it's not a love tap either. It is a it's a smack, but in. It's better than a punch. All right, we're gonna keep that there. Ugh, why do I keep going back for more? Because I like to get slapped. All right, let's get back to this here. No, no more games. And no more games. Let's get right to it. Th thankfully in the rain, nobody's here to, to use these vending machines. We have it all to ourselves. No one's dumb enough to be outside in this in these gusts of wind. <laughs> All right, what do we got next? It's up to you, PayPal. You're just having some fun here. Chen Menasulasan. Did I get that? I'm getting better, maybe. No smacks in public. <laughs> All right, I'll try to I'll try to try to behave myself so nobody smacks me. Um, let's see here, it's no more tea, maybe. I don't know. The jasmine tea though looks good. This is interesting. This says it's matcha, but is it matcha milk? I don't know. I've never had this one. This is Itoens, and it's quite expensive. It's 150. So I'm not gonna try any green tea because I've already done an episode on this. Let's go for this one. Joy, you got it right. All right, let's do it, Joy. Oh, this one takes Suica. All right, let's use the Suica then. I use Kitaka from Hokkaido. Look at that flying squirrel. That's much cuter than the uh, penguin, right? And these work in, in Tokyo too. All right, so I push this. I go to the Suica and ta love tap it, not a smack. Boom. Boom. Oh, the can. The can has um, texture to it. That's interesting. You see that? I guess you can see it's got some texture to the can, so when you hold it in your hand, you feel, you feel something. All right, let's take it back to the, my wet seat. What are these kids doing? They're up to no good. Sit back down in the water. Seriously, this is my seat, okay? The, I go the distance for you. I'm sitting right there on, on bricks two and three. 
Ah, oh, 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 that's really soaked in there now. Okay, I'm gonna put the umbrella down because this is hard. And so this is a match. This is just says matcha here. I don't know, but it comes in a little spiffy can. Spiffy can. It's a weird bottom. And sometimes they give you points. They'll give you a little piece of paper if you go to the store or from the supermarket and you can collect the point stickers on the cans. I did that a couple of times. Back like 20 years ago, I used to drink a lot of canned coffee, which is not good for you. And they would put these little point stickers on the side of the cans and I would collect them. And at the supermarket, they had these um, Georgia, Georgia coffee things and you put the sticker on it. And when you had all the stickers full, you'd send it in and, and they would send you a prize. I never won but it was fun to collect them. Right, let me put the camera down. Yeah, it's time for matcha. Up. Oh, there's a little bit of a hiss. Looks like there's, is there gas in here? That's a big one. Whoa, I don't know, I don't know what to think of this. It's not bitter, it's watery. Oh, check this out. There's like matcha powder, look at that. What? That's a lot of caffeine in the matcha powder. Yeah, I better shake it up. Purple Cat Audio's got it right. Oh. It's bitter, man doesn't say to shake it up. To clean you off here. It's better. Pesa writes in here, in order of preferences. X bitter coffee, bickle, rainwater. <laughs> Sorry. We get your point. I have shaken... All right, now it tastes less like, like rainwater and more like matcha water. All right, it's not actually matcha. It tastes like matcha water. I think it's because maybe, and again, the rain is really starting to come down. I think it's, all right, that one's not good, okay? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to take a zero on that one. All right, drink number three. What else we got here? Um, what do you think? Around the side, they had that had a couple of weird teas. Melon soda. Now nah, I'm trying to get away from green stuff here. Have another one on us. Thank you, Purple Cat Audio. You got it. Get a juice. That's interesting. Is there any weird juices? Here's the the uh, Yakult drink. It's like Miru Ju. Mi Miru Ju. Like milk juice. <laughs> Do you guys know Yakult? Do any of you? Ew, we got y Yamino Game Rights in here. Ew, Yakult. And then we got in here a thumbs up Yakult from Aryo. So it could go either way. Yakult is, was actually quite popular back in the day. We can try this here. Why not? This is one of these. Oh, this is the. So right now I've tried two. This is the same machine as the espresso tea. Wait, what was around the corner that I thought was interesting? There's nothing, nothing really original there. All right, around the corner there was something, right? Wasn't there? Oh, the Okinawa one. All right, let's try this Okinawa tea. This is from the Polka machine. They do have iced coffee, but let's just go with this uh, Okinawa drink right here. 110 yen. This one also doesn't have a suika. Oh, the rain's really coming down now.
So here's the Okinawa drink. The Saku Sour. Looks like it's an alcoholic beverage. I saw here also, which which made me a little bit curious, they have lemonade. I never see lemonade in Japan. This is original lemonade. I might have to try this, but then I read down here, it's only 3% lemon juice. So I guess a little lemon goes a long way. Let's see how this goes before I start investing any more time in here. They, I guess this machine has a lot of lemons. So a lot of lemons. And that could be, it, it, depending on how you, you look at it, that could be a bad thing. There's my bike right there. Uh, customer. I have not seen this, oh! I have not seen the CC lemons in a long time in the vending machines. What's that? Some kind of car with a speaker going by here. Don't know. All right, I put my umbrella there. Do you think it's gonna fly away? Probably gonna fly away. It goes right through, straight through this, right to the skin. Simon's here. Yo, that's not lemonade as you know it. <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. Austin, thank you. Why is there no Diet Coke in Japan? I'll get to that in a second. You know, I was born wet. All right, Okinawa drink right here. There's a lot of right, right wing people have the speakers. So, so like, there's a lot of right wingers that have these these cars with loudspeakers and they play patriotic music from like the 1940s. <laughs> when I first came to Japan, I didn't know what it was. And um, this, they kept coming by every day when I was an English teacher and I would go out onto the balcony of the school and, and listen to the song and start humming it, all right? And the, and the songs are really, really, they're really like, like communist era, like, like propaganda songs that stick in your head. And there's no words to it. Just a tongue. I, I can. I think I can even remember it. Yeah, and they keep playing this every day. So while I'm, while I'm teaching little kids, all right, I'm teaching kids that are like, like one and two years old, I just start humming this in the school, all right? I just start humming it all the time. And nobody is, no one's telling me that this is like a World War II song that's not good. So for, I guess, a few weeks, I'm humming it. And then one day, the manager of the school, this is in 1998, okay, 23 years ago. She goes, do you understand this, this song? And what it is I said no I said they seem to play it a lot here around here it seems to be a popular song and it feels very Japanese it's got a good very good you know powerful beat to it I like it she goes that's a World War II Japanese <laughs> Imperial World War II melody like oh but still I can't get it out of my mind because for for they played that song over and over and over again it's like a broken record all right so you'll hear these songs here Oh, the, the mic is but muffled. How's it now? Any better? No? It's worse? It gets worse before it gets better. Worse. All right, give me a second. How's that now? 
Maybe it's a little bit, be it's a little bit better. No, it's raining, folks. I don't know. F, better. All right, let's try this drink. I'll I'll tell you about Diet Coke in a second. All right, that's this is the uh, drink uh, from uh, Okinawa. Oh wow. I guess it, it really, the rain is coming down. I don't want to get it back in the mic. That is like drinking a Jolly Rancher. I can't taste, it's just, just a citrus fruit. I can't taste any characteristics that make this Okinawa. It's just citrus food, fruit with a lot of sugar. Yeah, and vitamin C in here. Marine gold coloring. This cannot be good for you. So they put in coloring in here. Why would they need to do that? All right, Mike is muffled again. Hold on. This is awful. Let's look this way. You don't want to. You don't want to see my my nasal hairs. Better. Better. No. Awful. It's a little bit better. All right, I'm gonna keep the umbrella up. The iPhone and the and the gimbal seem to do okay in, in a little bit of rain, but the iPhone, although waterproof, iPhone 12 is waterproof. It does if it gets wet, the mic does get bad. Um, unless I do an external mic, then the connection is, is can go bad. It's sort of okay. Um, Diet Coke. So I'll leave you with this because I, I do want to get into dry weather. I'm going to have some, some hot coffee when I get home. If you ever want to warm up, go outside for a little bit, get wet, and then come back in and you're so happy to be inside again. <laughs> like torture yourself. And the normal seems beautiful. It's the way to go. Like even my raincoat is, is wet. All right, Diet Coke. Why is there no Diet Coke in the vending machines here? It's going to... Hey, Saya M's here. I think it's hard to resist tourists not to take vending machine photos in Japan. It's hard to repeat tourists. We have so many on our phones. I know. I love vending machines too. And, and since you can't make it here, you know, it's good to just show you a regular good old vending machine live. No Diet Coke. The reason why is Japanese, you know, they don't, they don't really think about the calories, I don't think, with drinks like this. All right? So, like, it's too sweet. It's got a lot of calories and like actually Coca-Cola, cola in general is not popular here. People don't like cola. So there's no real market for Diet Coke, although you'll find it at the supermarket in the, in um, convenience stores, I think a little bit. You'll, you'll have this, which is zero sugar. Coke Zero is in the house, right? But no Diet Coke and it's just not, it doesn't make sense to people. You drink Coke for the sugar, and if you want the, if you don't want the sweetness, don't drink the sweetness. But for most Japanese, they prefer green tea. All right, I prefer green tea out of the vending machines. This is look at this one, brand new non-sugar tea. This is a a, a a black tea with no sugar. So Japanese are health conscious. They drink tea. If you want something sweet, you want the sugar. So there you go. So you, we have a lot of non-sugar options already in the vending machines, right? There's sugar with no coffee too. There's water. There's, oh, there's CC lemon right there. 1,000 uh, milligrams of, of uh, lemon, of, of vitamin C. Matcha has zero sugar. So again, like if you want something sweet, just have the regular Coke. If you want Diet Coke, nobody wants Diet Coke because if you're on a diet, you drink tea. You know, you know what I mean? You don't need the sugar taste. All right, here's my lineup for today. All of them were a disappointment and I'll be taking home the matcha, but leaving the rest in the recycle bin. There's always a recycle bin. Except, oh, even here, yeah, check that out. In fact, you can pick which recycle bin that you want. I don't know, if, I guess they're all the same. Yeah. I want my own vending machine. So one day I will have one and it will be awesome. It will be awesome.
yeah, there's no real winners here. Um, the monster drinks are there, so is the Red Bull. Energy drinks are good. Uh, young people like them, but energy drinks still are not so big in Japan. I don't know. It's not the same as in the U.S. Yeah, it's not the same as in the U.S. Uh, I'll be back with another live stream tomorrow. Um, I'm planning to meet up with Peter around 5 o'clock tomorrow. It's kind of late for the West Coast. Uh, what is that? 5 o'clock would be like 1 a.m. or something in the West Coast. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. But um, I, I, I do plan to meet Peter. Tomorrow is Saturday. I want to take you to a place. Um, we just had Memorial Day. I know it's not Memorial Day, but I... I want to tell you this in advance, and I want to show you the postcard too that just got waterlogged. A couple of a couple of things here. This is the postcard for this month. It's it's waterlogged, okay? And by the way, on the back is Kanai in a bikini. So if you <laughs> don't tell her, don't tell her I put that in there. I don't think she knows. She should be okay with it. She has no choice now. Um, this is a shot of Kanai and I in the onsen at Ni uh, Nijima, an island in Tokyo, looking over the Pacific at sunset. And this is warm, natural hot spring water separated by rocks. And there's the uh, Pacific Ocean. And this is the postcard for this month from Nijima. It's a, kind of a summer look to it. And I hope that's something you can put on your refrigerator. As we all dream about going to beautiful places, yeah, it was pretty easy to pick this one for June because we, we went there um, in July of 2015. So six years ago we were there, uh, almost, yeah, in July. So pretty close to a year. Um, the other thing I wanted to tell you was, um, oh, Memorial Day was, was um, last week and I didn't do anything special, but um, I know we have some veterans that are watching and some people, um, you know, that, that from military families, and I, I appreciate uh, so much. Um, we have a, a viewer who suggested that I go to um, some historical places in, in Tokyo. One of them, um, which is, I believe, the, where a prison was. I have a lot of research at, at home on it, and I've been researching this. But I'm going to take you to Heiwajima. Heiwajima is in Shinagawa, Pref in Shinagawa Ward, and it's a place where uh, uh, American POWs were stationed. It was an awful place, but I think that... Um, we can't forget those that we lost in the war on either side. War is awful. So I'm, I'm thinking about getting on my bicycle and riding down there and taking some beers, maybe a couple of Budweiser's and Onigiri and leaving them down there at, at the shrine um, for those that, that didn't make it through. Just to remember, um, Heiwa Jima is, it's, Heiwa means peace. So that's not what it was called back in the day. But it's a, it's a place that, um, you know, is now very industrial, but back there you can see pictures on the internet of when it was a prison, uh, POW prison camp, and it was very bad. And Tokyo has a lot of history like this. I think we, we shouldn't forget about it. Um, so I will go take you. Do it. Now Japan is our biggest ally. It's not a political thing anymore, but we, I, I do think we do have to look back at, at the past and, and remember those that, that fought for our freedom. So I, it's not Memorial Day. I don't think it has to be. Every day we should maybe appreciate the good things that we have as Sugamo. There's a lot of really uh, uh, tough spots in the city of Tokyo, um, but uh, you know I, I'll, I'll try to go through it with you live. And, and um, um, I know for those that, that were veterans in the war, maybe they knew new people. Um, that's how I know about this this place. Uh, it might be it might be interesting to go and check that out and just just uh, you know it's it's important to know where we came from to remember our past. So I want to say thank you to um, Happy Rails, who's been giving me information um, on this place. And uh, um, that's a very much an integral part of the city of Tokyo. You, you, we can't forget about the past, but even the bad stuff we have, to, we have to kind of remember. So there you have it. Vending machine in the rain. It's not, the rain's not too bad right now, but it's, again, it's a little bit cooler. And I don't mind, I sleep a lot better when the weather is 10 degrees cooler and there's no humidity. Like, it's so hot in the summer, you have no idea how blazing it gets in July. This is welcome. So enjoy rainy season and through the month of June, I'll take you outside despite the rainy weather. I'm gonna get wet for you, okay? I will do this for you if you keep watching and supporting the channel, I appreciate it so much. Don't forget to watch the main channel episode on the vending machine, on the um, bento, on the Shinkansen. 
we just passed 60,000 views on that. It's a new channel. Every view counts and it, it's, a, it's a battle to get back to where I used to be. So I got to get back on this bike and ride. I'll see everybody. Have a good day. Have a good night. If you want some more content, you're staying at, staying at home. Watch that Eki Ben episode where Peter and I ride the Shinkansen to uh, Aomori. It's an adventure with some amazing drone shots and music that will emotionally touch your heart and make you want to come to Japan. Like right now, 22 minutes of luxury on the Shinkansen. See you, everybody. Andreas, thank you. Just got that. Number one fan. Today it's Andreas. Bye everybody.